In Oso, Washington, this morning, rescue dogs are leading searchers to more victims of a deadly mudslide. The death toll is now 16, but that number is expected to rise. Eight other bodies have been located but not recovered. Officials say they are hearing now from some of the 176 people who were considered missing. Some survivors are complaining that they were never told that the hillside above the town was at risk of collapsing. But the local head of emergency management denies that claim. He says, quote, we've done everything we could to protect them. The United States Geological Survey says landslides happen in all 50 states, but some regions are more prone to disasters like the one in Washington. CBS News contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at the City University of New York. Good morning. Morning. Mm -hmm. So where are there likely to be landslides? They're likely to be, first of all, on the Pacific West Coast, Washington State, Oregon, California, the Appalachians, the Rocky Mountains, and the Colorado Plateau. However, these tend to concentrate in areas where you have three characteristics, a steep slope, loose soil, and also heavy rainfall and snowfall like what we had there outside Seattle. It was a catastrophe waiting to happen. In 1999, engineers flagged it and said this is potential for a catastrophe, but they ignored it after 1999. And they used the word catastrophe at that time. They used that word. And then in 2006, there was a smaller mudslide right there. And again, it was ignored. I keep thinking, Micho, about these poor people who are just sitting in their homes and all of a sudden, without warning, it happens. Mm. Is there anything you can look for in your home that gives you some indication that you're in trouble? There are definite warning signs. First of all, cracks in the foundation. Also, doors that don't close, windows that don't close properly, fences and telephone poles that begin to sway. And also, if you have clear runoff, rainwater on your property and it suddenly turns muddy, mm. at that point, run for your life. You mm -hmm. told us before, uh, when we were chatting with you on Monday, I believe, that the best thing to do if you are caught up in this sort of liquefaction quicksand, that the best thing to do is not to struggle, essentially, that you should try to almost ride the wave or... That's Tell right. Us more about that. The tipping point is when you have about 30 percent of the soil turning into water because of all the rainfall. At that point, you can actually float a bit. If you're a rescue crew and you're encountering this quicksand that you see there, then the backstroke, the backstroke is really the way to come out because you're actually floating on water at that point because you're beyond the 30 percent tipping point. But if you hit that tipping point, remember within seconds, within seconds, the cliff could go away. The, the ground underneath you could literally turn into a mush. Thank you. Very scary stuff. Thank you so much, Professor Michio Kaku.